Hello students, welcome back. This question is from gate 2016 exam. It's for two marks and the topic is stop and wait automatic repeat request protocol. So let's first read the statement, then I'll explain it. Question says a sender uses the stop and wait ARQ protocol for reliable transmission of frames. Frames are of size 1000 bytes and the transmission rate at the sender is 80 kbps. It's given that 1 kbps means 1000 bits per second. Size of acknowledgement is 100 bytes and the transmission rate at receiver is 8 kbps. The one-way propagation delay is 100 milliseconds. Assuming no frame is lost, the sender throughput is dash bytes per second. Okay, so we need to determine the throughput at sender side. Now this question is a bit different because here acknowledgement packet is also of considerable size. Generally we assume that acknowledgement packets are of negligible size and hence no transmission time is required for an acknowledgement packet. But here we have to consider the transmission time for acknowledgement packet also at the receiver side because acknowledgement will be transmitted by the receiver. Okay. See, what I'm trying to say is, suppose this is the sender side, this is receiver side. First of all, sender will send a frame and suppose TT time is taken to transmit this frame. That means to put this frame bit by bit on the channel. At this time, last piece of data or last bit of that packet is put onto the channel by sender. Now this bit will also take some time to reach. Okay, that time will be equal to TP or the propagation delay, which is given as 100 milliseconds. Okay, so 100 milliseconds will be taken by the last bit of data to reach to the receiver. Okay, obviously these bits will also take some time, but they will be pipelined. Okay, so they are going in parallel. That means we have just considered this time as TT. So no need to count it twice. Okay. And here also some bits will be traveling. Okay. There will be these bits, but no need to consider them because already we have counted this much time in TT plus TP. Okay. Now generally we say as soon as the receiver gets a packet, it will immediately send an acknowledgement. But in this case, this acknowledgement will take some time to get transmitted because it is of considerable size. It is of 100 bytes. Okay. So in this much time, the receiver will put the acknowledgement onto the channel. Generally, we draw this diagram like this. Okay. We say there is no considerable amount of time that is required for transmitting acknowledgement. But in this case, this much time is required for transmitting acknowledgement. At this point, the last piece of data of acknowledgement packet is put onto the channel. It will take this much time to come back to the center. Okay. Now this will be equal to TP and this will also be equal to TP. So this is TP. This is also TP and uh, let us call it TTS for sender and TTR for receiver. Okay. Now let us find these values. See, transmission time at sender will be dependent on the frame size. Uh, the frame size is 1000 bytes. That means, that means TT at sender will be 1000 bytes divided by the bandwidth available at sender side. So transmission rate at sender side is 80 kbps. So length of packet divided by bandwidth. Now you can see this is in bytes, this is in bits, bits per second. So let us convert the units. So multiply this by 8. To convert it into bits. Okay. Now you can see 
1000 and k will be cancelled bits and bits will be cancelled 8 and 8 will be cancelled you will be left with 1 by 10 seconds okay 1 by 10 seconds means 100 microseconds okay see to convert it into microseconds multiply by 100 and divide by 100 okay and this can be written as 1 microsecond so 100 microseconds is the transmission time so I'm writing its value. This is 100 microseconds. Okay. Sorry, I'm saying microseconds. It's milliseconds. This is 100 milliseconds. Okay. Now let us find the transmission time at receiver side. That means transmission time for the acknowledgement packet. This is 100 bytes divided by 8 kbps. It will be same only because my, uh, numerator and denominator both are divided by 10 earlier we had 1000 bytes now it is 100 bytes here the denominator was 80 bytes sorry 80 kbps here it is 8 kbps so you can see this will also be 100 milliseconds only okay if you want to you can just calculate it it will be 8 into 100 bits divided by 8 k bps these many bits so b and b will be cancelled k can be written as 1000 so it is 1000 two zeros will be cancelled from here and it will be cancelled you can see one by 10 seconds is left so it is one by 10 second or 100 milliseconds okay anyways now we have found out the values of transmission time at center side as well as the receiver side you can see propagation time is given as 100 milliseconds so this is also 100 millisecond this is also 100 millisecond now you can see for effectively transmitting or effectively sending one packet of 1000 bytes we require this much time because only after this point of time the sender can send the next packet only at this point of time sender is sure that the packet has reached successfully okay so for transmitting this much data we take 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 that means 400 milliseconds so for transmitting 1000 bytes we require 400 milliseconds now for in one second how much data can be transmitted that is what we need to calculate see they were asking assuming no frame is lost the sender throughput in bytes per second okay so that means 1000 bytes are transmitted in 4 by 10 seconds okay now this can be multiplied that means 10,000 bytes are transmitted in 4 seconds okay divide both sides by 4 you can see in 1 second 2500 2500 bytes are transmitted so from here it is clear that answer is 2500 bytes is it bytes or what they are saying yeah answer is 2500 only okay no unit because unit is already mentioned in question they are saying the sender throughput is dash bytes per second so unit is already given now you can solve this question in one more way I like to discuss that also see they were asking about throughput and you very well know formula for throughput is efficiency into bandwidth okay so sender side throughput will be efficiency into the bandwidth at sender side so bandwidth at sender side is 80 kbps that means our answer is this so it is 80 kb per second now let us find efficiency efficiency is 
यूजफुल टाइम बाय टोटल टाइम सो यूजफुल टाइम इज ओनली हंड्रेड मिली सेकेंड बिकॉज दिस मच टाइम इज टेकन बाय सेंडर टू ट्रांसमिट अ पैकेट देन दिस मच एक्स्ट्रा टाइम इज टेकन सो यूजफुल टाइम इज हंड्रेड बाय टोटल टाइम इज फोर हंड्रेड ओके फ्रॉम हेयर टू हेयर दैट मीन्स एफिशियंसी इज ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट सो दिस विल बी ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट और पॉइंट टू फाइव सो आई एम राइटिंग पॉइंट टू फाइव हेयर ओके एंड यू कैन सी ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ एट्टी विल बी ट्वेंटी सो इट इज ट्वेंटी के बी पी एस ट्वेंटी के बी पी एस एंड दे वर आस्किंग इन बाइक्स पर सेकेंड दिस इज एन के बिट्स पर सेकेंड सो लेट्स कन्वर्ट इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सब्सटीट्यूट द वैल्यू ऑफ के सो के इज टेन रेज टू दावर थ्री दिस बिकम्स ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड बिट्स पर सेकेंड बिट्स पर सेकेंड Now let's convert bits into bytes. So you can see we can easily do so by dividing this number by eight. So eight into twenty five hundred. So this is twenty five hundred. Okay. Bytes per second. This is your answer. Okay. And from here also it is clear that efficiency is twenty five percent because out of the total time. only one fourth of the time is useful so 25% that means this is utilized only to 25% extent okay so 25% of this is 20 kbps which is equal to 2500 bytes per second so we have found out the answer in two ways and in both of the ways answer is 2500 bytes per second okay